Hello guys, welcome back to our Molly B channel, where you can learn more interesting information about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, let's have a look at the career and life of actor Michael Clark Duncan. Michael Clark Duncan was an American actor born on December 10, 1957 in Chicago, Illinois, United States. He was best known for his breakout role as John Coffey in The Green Mile, for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and other honors for playing Kingpin in Daredevil and Spider-Man, the new animated series. Sadly, the actor's career and life were cut short by dying from heart problems at the age of 54. Duncan was raised in a single-parent household with his sister, Judy, and mother, Jean Duncan, a house cleaner. He always wanted to act, but had to drop out of the communications program at Alcorn State University to support his family when his mother became ill. Duncan's large frame, 6 feet 5 inches, and 315 pounds helped him with his jobs digging ditches for People Gas Company and being a bouncer at several Chicago clubs. Duncan also played basketball at Kankakee Community College and for one season for the Alcorn State Braves. Upon moving to Los Angeles, Duncan took security jobs while auditioning for acting work in commercials. He served as a bodyguard for a number of celebrities, including Will Smith, Ella Cool J, Jamie Foxx, and the notorious B.I.G. When the latter star was murdered in 1997, Duncan quit the business of personal protection. At the time of his death, Duncan was dating reality television personality Omarosa Manigault. After having begun his career with several bit parts playing Bowser's in films, Duncan first came to prominence when he was cast as Bear in the blockbuster Michael Bay action film Armageddon 1998. During the production of the film, Duncan struck up a friendship with castmate Bruce Willis, and it was Willis's influence that helped him to get his breakout role as gentle giant John Coffey in The Green Mile 1999. Starring alongside Tom Hanks, Duncan's performance netted him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor in a Supporting Role and Golden Globe nomination for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role in a Motion Picture. Following The Green Mile, Duncan appeared in a string of films that helped to solidify him as a star of both comedy and action films. He proved versatile enough in press as the Iron Fist the Underworld boss Kingpin in Daredevil and Spider-Man, the new animated series, both in 2003. He also appeared in motion pictures such as The Whole Nine Yards 2000, Planet of the Apes 2001, The Scorpion King 2002, and a voice roles in films such as Brother Bear 2003, Kung Fu Panda 2008, Green Lantern 2011, and so on. Let's take a look at the actor's 10 best movies of his career. The Green Mile 1999, Sin City, 2005 Teledega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, 2006 The Whole Nine Yards, 2000 Planet of the Apes, 2001 The Scorpion King, 2002 Daredevil, 2003 Kung Fu Panda 2008 The Slamming Salmon 2009 School for Scout Rolls 2006 The actor's net worth of $8 million at the time of his death.
Duncan was taken to see the Sinai Medical Center after suffering a heart attack on July 13, 2012, and by August 6, he was moved from the intensive care unit but remained hospitalized. On December 3, Duncan died in Los Angeles from complications of heart attack. He was 54. After Duncan's passing, his family claimed that his then-girlfriend, Omarosa, changed his will and testament, lied about their engagement, and sold his belongings without anyone's consent. In 2013, Omarosa competed on the All-Star Celebrity Apprentice to play for Duncan's favorite charity, the Sue Duncan Children's Center. She ultimately won $40,000 to benefit the charity. That was all for today, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Malapi channel.